What's up guys, Alan checking in. Welcome back to my, my fish bedroom. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, today's video will be about the 60 gallon brand new badass acrylic tank that we got from Clear for Life via Marine Depot. Um, once again, it was about 630 bucks just for the tank. It's beautiful. I'm loving it so far. Tank's been running since Wednesday. Today is Sunday. Um, so it's been running for about half a week, a little over at this point. Um, I do have two filters on it, two AquaClear 70s on full throttle. And I was able to take some uh, filter media from the, uh, the tank over there and my daughter's tank to kind of jumpstart it. So, which is obviously worked out great because the water is almost crystal clear. I still need to clean some of the substrate stuff off um, once I do my first water or second water change, excuse me. But so far it looks amazing comment below let me know what you guys think obviously we added fish to um today or actually yesterday excuse me so we added um a few different kinds of quarry catfish uh the jilly the something with a p right here who i think looks awesome they're so friendly and cute so i have uh, two of those two of the jillies i have four of the albinos uh, they tend to like to be in bigger groups, obviously. I probably could should have got more of the jillies, but that's all they had. So um, I think we'll add two, um, you know, over the next few weeks here. But I also picked up 25 Cardinal Tetras, and I also picked up about 17 of the Ember Tetras, who are slowly starting to turn orange, some of them, so as they adjust. So quite a few fish, obviously, but they're really small, kind of nano micro fish, but good for planted tanks. Um, so far, the plants are doing pretty good. The only one that's kind of struggling is the jungle val back there. Um, I think it's kind of dying off. And then this, uh, this red plant, pink plant, whatever, which is a tissue culture. I can't remember the name of it, something real wiki or whatever, but I'll put it up on the screen. But either way, this one's melting back and dying off. And for the, the beginners out there, this will grow back, I'm hoping. Um, but everything else is looking pretty healthy. That plant's obviously still transitioning from, you know, growing out of ground or out of water, excuse me, to being grown underwater. So the leaf pattern and structure is changing. And, but yeah, I mean, the fish look real happy. I am not running a heater, so it's about 70 degrees in the house. I tested it this morning, it was 69. It gets up to about 71 or two during the day. Um, so it only fluctuates about one or two degrees at the most, which I think is the most important thing, but the fish look happy so far. And yeah, um, plants look good. Uh, got some more plants coming this week from uh, Boost Plant, so look forward to that. Got a bunch of really cool stuff that we'll make a video about and plant in there. A lot of stuff, actually, a bunch more moss, spiky moss. Um, we got some, uh, let's see here, some crypts, and then we got some more Anubias and some other stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me, look forward to that. But um, I'll update you guys later in the week and just let you know how this thing goes. Hopefully it t continues to clear out. I did add CO2 to it today, which is really cool. So I got that actually running in one of my AquaClear 70s. So I don't know if you can see, I'll kind of bring it up there, but see those bubbles? But we'll put that thing back down there. But yeah, so, um, and I like doing that because it makes the water less less bubbly or spritey and I feel like it distributes the bubbles better, more evenly across the tank versus just in one corner. So once again, no heater, no wave maker. I'm just using these two guys right here for lots of filtration. We have intake sponges on the end of them. Um, two different kinds of a smaller one over there. Just didn't want one of the big ones again, but um, so obviously plenty of spots for the beneficial bacteria and like I said, I did take uh, some old filter media from the other tanks um, And put them inside there and then I also took one of the intake sponges from my daughter's tank when I cleaned it yesterday and, and just literally Squeezed it out inside this tank and it was like completely brown for a couple hours But um, obviously it's working and you can see how how much bacteria is on that one already right there So these were just set up two. this one was just set up three days ago. So this filter so it's working um and like i said none of the fish have died and appear to be healthy so comment below let me know what you guys think in terms of what else we should add to the tank i don't think i want to do any snails or shrimp in this tank just because i kind of want to see if the the cardinals and the embers will breed and lay eggs and i don't want the shrimp and the snails to eat them so um i kind of just want this tank to be just packed with cardinals and embers like the bright orange and just the real cool colors of the cardinal so 
Yeah, that's about it. But uh, as far as the CO2 system goes, it's just a Jardly regulator that I got off Amazon um, that's set up on a timer down there. So it's, uh, and then I got a five pound tank just from like a, um, a, uh, one of those uh, those beer places that do the you know the CO2 stuff. So I just got the tank from there, had her fill it, and then slapped the regulator and the timer on it. The timer was from Amazon, and it works great. I had it set up on that tank for a while over there. So sorry for the mess in the room. Just haven't had a chance to clean up after getting these things all set up and, and, and fixed up. So hope you guys are loving this. And uh, once again, this is Alan, and I'll check back in. Peace.